There's been a bit of excitement lately at SMSD, a series of education summits casting their net widely for a variety of opinions. Our strategic design process is built around uh, trying to bring a lot of communication and collaboration across the community. Oftentimes what happens is you'll have strategic plans made, whether it be in a business or school, um, and it's done with a smaller body of folks. There's input and data that people look at that's quality data. But our process is built so that we gain a lot of collaboration from key stakeholders that would include community members that may be, for example, parents, uh, folks who have attended a particular district and no longer are in school but live in the community. You'll have uh, board members, of course, involved. You'll have teachers, staff members, principals, um, folks from the central office, just anybody and everybody. And I didn't mention students, which of course is the heart of it all. So our process is built on um, bringing a collaborative voice together to discern what it is that we really want for kids. And we ask the question, what are your highest hopes? Everything begins with highest hopes for kids because what you're doing is idealizing where you want to go and what you want as the outcome of students' experience in a particular district. So the initial process entails hosting summits. Uh, so today and a couple of days ago, we did a summit situation where we invite all members of the community to come in and share in getting initial information around this weird thing that's going on in the district. You know, what's the strategic design thing? So they learn and hear from kids about what kids want, what the possibilities for their future is, what they see themselves being able to do, what they need, the skills they need to reach and attain their goals and things of that nature. So we're really focusing and really beating over the heads of folks throughout this process that the future holds really that which we don't even know for our kids. And how will we best prepare our kids for that future? And when people really start grappling with those questions, they really start thinking about the nature of education, what exists, what doesn't exist, what's the gap between what exists and doesn't exist, how do we fill the gap, how do we build kids up to meet the needs and be prepared for something that we can't even quite fathom what it really looks like. So our process is built strictly around the student-centered focus of moving from this world of education today, which is still caught in a realm that's based on an industrialization kind of society versus the new society that we have functioning and moving around us. We, we've got to really help ourselves by moving children into a, a nature of learning and an environment of learning that allows them to communicate, collaborate, and move beyond just the context of education in terms of content. Learning, reading, writing, and arithmetic is critical, of course, but there are all these other things that kids have to have that we don't tend to focus on and currently, we don't really have a lot of things in place in a classroom that build all the other skills required, which are typically called future-ready skills, 21st century skills, and things of that nature. More information on this process, even in other districts, can be found online at engagetolearn.org. For Spartan Spotlight, this is Randall Williams.